then you can stop it. You can stop it. Once you finish with it, you can stop. Praise God. My That's God. the reason you can't stop. That's the reason you can't stop. Because you're or not you won't finished. Stop. You're not done because with you, it. Because you're not finished with it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Praise, Praise God. God. First Peter, the fourth chapter. Praise God. The reason why you can't stop, mm -hmm. because you're not finished. You're not done with it. You ain't done. Praise You're not done. Mm -hmm. Praise God. If you're done with something, praise you're like a, a bar from a girlfriend. When you, you quit them, that's it. You're done. You're done. It's over. It's over. You don't go back with them no more. But you, it's over because you're done with that relationship. You, it's terminated. It's terminated. You finish. You can you finish with that. Wow. You finish with that boy. You finish with that girl. Why? Because you made up in your mind. I'm done with him. Mm -hmm. I'm done with her, praise God. And that's what we have to do. We have to make up in our mind, mm -hmm. praise God, according to the scriptures, according to the law of God, that we done with something. We done with this. Whatever that had you bound for years, I'm done with this. I'm not going to let this overpower me anymore. I'm done with the world. I'm done with the world. I'm done with Praise it. God. I'm, I'm done with I'm it. I'm finished with it. Finished with it. What did you say? Terminate. I'm terminating. I terminate this I out my life. I terminate this relationship. I terminate this relationship with the world I have. This, I have a relationship with the Praise world, God. so I terminate it. Hallelujah. I'm finished with it. Praise God. This now, is the conclusion. I'm married, to, I'm married to the Lord. Yes. I'm married to the Lord Jesus because I terminated my relationship my ungodly marriage that I had with the world I didn't know I was married to the world but I was praise God but now I terminated that thing mm -hmm. praise God first Peter the fourth chapter praise God first Peter the fourth chapter so then since Christ suffered physical pain you must arm yourself with the same attitude mm -hmm. we must have the same attitude the same mindset that Christ had Mm -hmm. He suffered while he walked this earth, praise God. He suffered for you. He suffered for me. He suffered for the entire world. So then, since Christ suffered physical pain, we must arm ourselves with the same attitude, with the same mind he had, and be ready to suffer for Christ's sake, mm -hmm. to suffer for the world's sake, to suffer. For if you have suffered physically for Christ, you have finished with sin. You are finished with sin, praise God. When we come to Christ, praise God, we are made up of our mind that we are finished with sin or otherwise we're not going to practice sin. We're not going to live in the sin because we are finished. Finished. I'm with finished. sin. I'm finished. I'm finished with them things I used to do. Yes. I am finished. Mm -hmm. I'm done with it. I terminate it. I get rid of it in my life. And this is what we have to do, praise God, when we come to the Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. Jesus, praise God, walked the earth, praise God. And guess what? He finished his course. Mm. He finished everything he had to do in this earth. Then he said, time for me to go. Mm. When he was on the cross, he said, it is finished. My God. It is finished. And guess what? He never had to walk the earth no more. He never had to come again and, 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 and go through all that again. And, and we hang, they hang him on the cross again. He never had to do it no more, boy. Because he was finished with that. Finish. Finish with it. So that's the reason why we keep doing the, the same thing that we've been doing when we was in the world. We yes. keep doing the same thing Fame. over and, and over and again over. because we ain't finished. We're not anymore. done with the thing. We have a fan. We have to turn it loose. Uh, if you finish with it, it's a done deal. It's a done deal. My God. This is what Peter said. Mm -hmm. For if you have suffered physically for Christ, physically for Christ, you have finished with sin. Jesus. Peter said you have to be finished. Finished with, with sin. Mm. You won't spend the rest of your lives chasing your own desires, but you will be anxious to do the will of God. The reason why we can't be anxious. By doing the will of God. Because we still chase it after our own desires. Mm. We haven't finished with the things we did in the world. We haven't finished with gambling. Mm. I'm not done with gambling. I go five or six months without gambling. But 
all of a sudden, this spirit come on me, and I have to gamble. I have to go to the rock house, whatever you call it. I go go to the, the gambling holes in, in the neighborhood and stuff. Because why? Because I can't stop. I have a finish. The reason why I can't stop it, because I have a finish with it. I can stop for four or five months, five or six months. But I go right back doing it again. Why? Because you're not finished with that thing. Mm. You have to make up in your mind, make up in your soul, make up in your spirit that you are finished with sin. I'm finished with sin. I'm finished with the world. I'm not going back into the world. I'm finished. I'm finished with that. I decided by the Spirit of God. I'm finished with the help of the Holy Spirit. I'm finished. I'm done with the world. I'm not going back into the world. I will not be entangled with the things that had me in bondage before. My God. Why? Because I'm finished. I'm finished with that. It's a lot of things you done. It's a lot of things you done been. You, it's a lot of things you finished with in your life. And you ain't never went back to it. It's the same way. So basically what you're saying is cut your relationship just like an old boyfriend mm -hmm. or old girlfriend. Yeah. You cut the relationship. So if you cut the relationship with worldliness, mm. it's over. It's over. It's terminated. Because in order to have um, a relationship with something, you have to cultivate it. Right. You have to entangle yourself with it. You have to be around it mm -hmm. if you're going to have a relationship with right. it. Right. And the Bible says if you have a relationship with the world, you're an enemy to God. You're an enemy to God. And remember what uh, Peter said? It was the apostle Peter. Mm -hmm. And he kept saying, he kept reiterating. He kept saying it over and over again. He said, I'm going to tell you again. I'm going to tell you again. I'm going to keep telling you. I'm going to keep telling and, you. And, and as long as the Lord put this on our heart, we're going to keep telling you. We're going to keep telling you. Yeah. We're going to keep telling you. Mm. We're going to keep telling you. Because it's the right thing to do. Mm. Praise God. It's the right thing to do. Hallelujah. Praise God. Mm -hmm. It says, What's you that? won't spend the rest mm -hmm. of your lives mm -hmm. chasing your own desires. And that's what people are doing now. They're spending the rest of their lives chasing their own desires. But you will be anxious to do the will of God. Anxious to do the will of God. You have had enough in the past of the evil thing that godless people enjoy. I done had enough of that lifestyle. I done had enough of that world. I done had enough of that clubbing. I'm not going to do it no more. I'm finished. I'm finished. I'm finished with that. And you can't be finished until you make up your heart and your mind, your soul and your spirit. And say, Holy Spirit, God Almighty, I need help. I need you to help me in this area. I've been trying for 10 years to stop drinking. But I'm still drinking. Because you're not finished. Finish. You haven't made your mind yeah. totally up right. to get rid of that. Right. Because you allow that sin to have power over you. Mm. Sin has power. It has power to control us. Mm. It has power to do certain things in the sin. Mm. That's the reason we can't stop doing stuff because of sin. Mm -hmm. Because of the sinful nature, because of our own desires. Mm. We continue to do the same thing over and over and over. Just like a revolving door. We go over and over, in and out, in and out, in and out. We're not finished with it. We're not finished with it. My God. He said Romans 6 23 said, for the wages of sin. Look, the wages, the pay. For the wages of sin is death. Mm -hmm. This the wage. This so, this your pay. So you get a payment. You get a payment. There's a, you get a paycheck. You get a paycheck. For indulging in sin. In sin. And in, in will for sin. Will for sin. We as Christians, we don't practice sin. We don't practice sin. Now we may we may sin. We may sin. Okay. Nobody is exempt from sinning. Nobody. We may sin. Yes. But we don't practice we sin. We don't practice sin. My God. We don't practice that. Mm -hmm. Praise God. But he said, for the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. He said, that's the gift. Eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. He said, but for the wage, the payment of sin is death. Mm. The payment of sin is destruction. Ooh. The payment of sin is failure. The payment of sin is torment. Jesus. 
That's the payment. That's what you get paid. You wake up Monday tormented. You wake up Tuesday tormented. You wake up Wednesday tormented. Why? Because you have not finished with that thing that have you in bondage. You're not finished with it. Hallelujah. He said you have had enough in the past of the evil things that godless people enjoy. Immorality. Immorality. He said we enjoy that. We're not finished with it. Lust. We're not finished with lust. We haven't got rid of it. Because we keep going in the neighborhoods. We keep going, going in the areas, praise God, that cause us a lust. We keep doing the things that will cause lust to show up in us. We keep watching stuff. We keep looking at stuff. We keep listening to things that drive us to that. Lust. The reason why we can't stop the lust because we're not finished with lusting. We're not finished with doing the things. We're not finished indulging the things that cause us to lust. We're not finished in watching the porn. Jesus. We're not finished with that. So lust continue to have power. Lust continue to dominate and reign in our lives. Why? Because we are not finished with that. I look like I'm finished to some people because they don't know what I'm doing in secret. The things that we do in secret have us in bondage and bound and have us in bondage. Mm. Lust. They're feasting and drunkenness and wild parties. This is what Peter talking about. So they did this in, in Peter days. Yes. They did this in Peter days and Peter got this teaching from the Lord. He did. He get this teaching from the Lord. He spent when Jesus, he was up under Jesus teaching for three and a half years. Yes. He got this teaching. He got these instructions from the Lord. Mm -hmm. He didn't just come up with this. Mm -hmm. He said immorality, lust, feasting, drunkenness, wild parties. And terrible worship of idols. Our biggest idol is ourselves. Our biggest eye to look in the mirror is you. Mm. Selfishness. Mm. Praise God. That eye to produce selfishness. I'm going to do what I want to do. Yeah, I'm going to do what I want to do. The Lord told me, mm. the Lord said, I want you to come out of the world. Because if you come out of the world, I, I want you to come out of the world. There's a reason why the Lord tells us to come out of the world. And we don't want to be obedient to that. We want to add worldliness to our godliness. Uh-huh. We want to add Jesus to our worldliness. Praise God. But it, it's not going to mix. Mm. You have to make a decision mm. as to what you're going to do. You're either going to obey God and come out of the world mm -hmm. and not, not come all the way out. All the way out. Not halfway in not and halfway, halfway out. out. Come all the way out. All the way out. So if you're not, if you're not going to obey what the Lord is telling you, telling us mm -hmm. to come out of the world. Come out of it. You the idol. You the idol. Because you're going to do what you want. You're going to worship you. Right. We the idol. We worship our Savior. Uh -huh. Praise God. Evil things. Drunk and worship. He said, of course. Now listen. He said, when you do make a decision. Mm -hmm. When you do make a distinction. When you do change. When you when you prove to the people that you're around. You don't, we don't have to prove that in them. But when they see a certain change in us. This is what they do. What they do. He said, of course. Your former friends. Are surprised when you no longer plunge into the flood of wild and destructive things that they do. He said they surprised. They surprised, they surprised that they totally changed. What did they tell you? Oh, yeah. he last five. Yeah, they told me I last for a couple of months, three, about two or three months. When I got saved, they said oh, he'll last for two or three months. He won't stay like that. What he say? He said your friends. That's what my friend was saying about me. He won't stay safe. Mm. Yeah, I gave him two or three months. And this is what Peter's saying. He said, your friends are surprised when you no longer plunge into the flood of wild and destructive things. My friends, well, they were surprised when I changed. My friends, they were surprised when I changed. This is what Peter said. Your friends going to be surprised when you totally changed. No, no, you did. You were finished. I was finished with that lifestyle. 
I was finished with the things I used to do. I was finished with the wild and destructive things I did. And this is what Peter said. The things that we did in the world, they were wild and they were destructive. They were heading us down the wrong path. The wrong road. Death. The wages of sin is death. Praise God. Hallelujah. He said, Ephesians 5, 11. It said, I have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather expose them. But rather expose them. Have no fellowship. Mm. No fellowship with them. Mm. No fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness. But rather expose them. Amen. Expose them. I want to expose the things that I did because those things had me bound. If people doing the things I did, it's going to have them bound. He said, expose it. When we come out the world, we need to expose the things. Praise God. That had us in bondage. That were directing us to the right and directing us to the left. Sin. Sin, praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Romans 6 and 1 said, what shall we say then? Uh -huh. Shall we continue in sin? Mm. Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Hallelujah. Of course not. Praise God. Paul said, of course not. Praise God. We should continue in sin. We should stop sin. We should finish. We should be finished with sin. Mm. But some people say, because of grace, we can continue to sin. But Paul said, no. No. Not because of grace, we're going to continue to sin. Mm. Stop it. Stop it. Get rid of it. Terminate it. Remove it out of our life. Praise God. Romans 6 and 2 said, God forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? If you dead to sin, how can you live any longer in it if you dead to it? If you dead to sin, that means you finished with it. You done terminated sin in your life. And he said, it's, not, it's impossible for you to continue to live in it. If you done put you done buried it, you done buried it, you done killed it, you done terminated it, you done removed it out of your life. You done kicked it off the cliff of your life. Paul said it's impossible for you to continue to live in it. Mm. Mm. Praise God. Now we become example. We become a light. We become a light. Praise God. It's, we walk out of darkness into light. And now our lives it is a light to people. Christians. It's a light to people. Praise God. We have to live a different lifestyle. We have a live a, a, a we have a, have a, a, a distinction between us, light and darkness. It's a distinction. Mm -hmm. Darkness, dark, and light, light. Amen. So it's something different about them. It's something different should be about us mm -hmm. when we become Christians. Praise God. Mm -hmm. We have to get rid of that stuff. The reason why we are not done with stuff because we are not finished with stuff. We're not tired of doing whatever we're doing. Yeah. The reason why you can't stop running around because you're not finished. You ain't finished with it. You're not finished with it. Praise God. That's why you continue to do it. That's why you continue to do it. The reason why you still commit adultery because you are not finished with it. You are not done with that thing. You haven't terminated that thing in your life. You haven't dominated that thing in your life. You are not adultery or dominate you. We have to get rid of stuff. We have to get rid of sin. We have to finish. We have to do it in. In a wrestling match, you have, if you pin them, if you count one, two, three, it's over. We got the pin sin down. Jesus. We got to bind it up. We got to cut it out. We got to take the word of God. The Bible said the word of God like a two-edged sword. We got to go in our spirit, man, in our spirit person, and we got to cut the core of sin out of our spirit. If we cut it out, if we remove it, we're done with it. We go to the doctor and say, there's something in there. And they cut it out. They take it out. And then we good. Mm. That's what we got to do with sin. We got to take it out. We got to cut it out. We, take, we got to take the word of God. We got to go in surgery. We got to take the word and we got to cut that thing out of our spirit, out of our life, out of our soul. Jesus. Hallelujah. He said, knowing this. That our old man is crucified with him. 
Our old man. We should be, this old person should be crucified with Christ. If you crucify some, you are you have killed it. If you crucify, they crucified our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. They killed him on the cross. Praise God. They buried him, praise God. But the life and the nation, the power that he had in him, he said, No man take my life. I pick it up whenever I get ready. He could have stayed there for he could have stayed there for three years and then get, get back up. That's the power he have in you. That's the power that we have in us. We can dominate sin. We can dominate this thing in us. Because of Christ. He said, crucify this thing. Crucify the thing that's trying to come against you. Crucify the thing that's trying to destroy your life. Crucify. Porn. Crucify. Crucify adultery. Crucify that smoking. Dope. Crucify it. Weed, praise God. Hallelujah. Crucify it. Jesus. Do away with it. Don't I lie to have dominion over you. You have dominion over sin. Oh, hallelujah. Knowing that the body of sin might be destroyed. That here so we should not serve sin. Serve it. We shouldn't serve sin no longer. Serve it? Serve it. Mm. That means you're a slave to it. A slave. You're a slave to sin. He said, don't serve sin. Don't allow sin to dominate you. Don't become a slave. We, we was a slave. I was a slave to sin. I was a slave to the world. I had physical shackles on me. I had handcuffs on me. I was physical, praise God. I had some around my neck, praise God. I, had, I was bound and chained in the spirit realm. Hallelujah. But God freed me. Hallelujah. And you can get free. Romans 6 and 7. For he that is dead is freed from sin. Dead. You got to be free from sin. You're dead from sin. And you'll be free from sin. Matthew 5. 44 said. He said love your enemies. Pray for them that despitefully use you. Do good to them, praise God. That's suffering. Pray for them that despitefully use you and speak all manner of evil against you. Mm -hmm. Speaking all manner of evil against you. Mm -hmm. You suffering for Christ. Mm -hmm. You taking the hit for Christ. Christ took the hit for us. Now we got to take the hit for Christ. Yes. We got to take the blow in the head yes. for Christ. We got, to, we got to take the spear, spear plunging our side for God. Jesus. We got to take it. Praise God. We got to take the suffering for Christ. Praise God. We got to take the buffing that Paul got. Yeah. Praise God. When he walked the earth. Praise God. He was buff. Praise God. Everywhere he went. Praise God. Why? Because he was standing up for Christ. You're going to suffer for Christ. Mm. You're going to be talked about. Praise God. They're going to slander you. Praise God. They're going to slander your name. Praise God. He said love them. Mm. Listen. He said love them. That despitefully use you. And persecute you. And persecute you. Now you know how we going to love somebody that despitefully use us, use us and do us evil. Speak evil about us. And then God tell us to love them. Then God tell us to pray for them. Then God tell us if he, if an enemy thirsty, give him something to drink. If he hungry, feed him. Mm. That's suffering for Christ. That's the suffering that we got to take on this world. In this world. You got to suffer for the Lord. Jesus. Praise God. What it said? Mm -hmm. He said, arm yourself likewise. He said, arm yourself likewise. Had the same attitude that Christ had. Mm -hmm. He said, arm yourself. Prepare yourself otherwise. Prepare yourself because you're going to get it. You're going to get it. Because the world going to give it to you. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Hallelujah. We, it didn't affect us because we was in the world. So we was in dozen of things. And now, but since you're out of the world, now the world working against you. It's working against you. It's working against you, praise God. Mm. Of course your former friends are surprised when you no longer plunge into the flood of wild and destructive things they do. So they slander you. But remember that they will face God who stand ready to judge everyone, both living and dead. God ready to judge us. God judges us on a daily basis, praise God. On what? On our lifestyle. On what he see. On our fruits, praise God. 721, Matthew 721 says, Wherefore, by their fruits, you shall know them. You shall know them. If you follow the fruit, 
Don't follow what come out of their mouth. Follow the fruit. Follow the fruit. If you follow the fruit, praise God, you'll never be wrong. If you want an orange, praise God. If you go out there, praise God, and you look at it, look for an orange tree, you'll never get an apple. Mm. If you follow the fruit. Mm -hmm. You got to follow the fruit, praise God. Hallelujah. You got to know what's bitter. You got to know what's sweet. God. You got to follow the fruit. Mm. Follow the fruit, praise God. Hallelujah. Sin is a bitter fruit. Mama, mama. Sin is a bitter fruit, praise God. We need to finish with sin. We need to undo ourselves from the world of things, praise God. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. He said, let not sin therefore reign in your mortal bodies, mm -hmm. that you should obey it oh. in the lust of it. Oh, you're going to obey it. Don't let sin reign in your body. Don't let it take precedent. Yes. Oh, don't that let what? It. That you should obey it in the lust thereof. Oh, my goodness. In the lust thereof. Mm. Don't let sin reign. Mm. Otherwise, don't let sin live. Otherwise, don't let sin stay in your body. Don't let sin stay in your spirit. Remove it. He said, otherwise, if you let it stay there, you're going to end up obeying it. You gonna obey that. You're gonna obey that. Because you're allowing it. If it stay there. If it stay there. You're going to obey yeah, it. Yeah, you give it, you giving it the go-ahead. Mm. You said, okay, you can live there. You can live there. But you can you can remove it. You can say, go in the name of Jesus. Anybody come in your house, you can tell them leave. So if anything come in this house, this physical body, mm -hmm. this physical house, mm -hmm. this vessel, praise God, you can tell it to leave. You can say, um, I'm finished with you. I'm finished with you. I'm done with this cussing. I'm done. I'm done every time I get mad and I, I'm, I go and I uh, cuss like a sailor. Yeah, I'm done with this. I'm done with that. I'm done with that. So when you get done with it and you say, I'm finished with it. Yes. All right. <clears throat> Uh, we got to take it a, a little step further. Uh -huh. Then you go to the Bible and pull up scriptures. Right. Scriptures on peace. Peace. You know, scriptures on love. Love. Scriptures on kindness. Joy. Scriptures on joy and yeah. gentleness. You put that on the inside of you. Mm. That's right. And as you get the word working on the inside of you, mm -hmm. one of them you're going to start obeying. That's right. You're going to obey the word or you're going to obey your you. You. You're going to obey you. Mm. Praise God. He said, that is why the good news was preached to those who are not dead. So although they were destined to die like all people, they now live forever with God in the spirit. The end of the world is coming soon. This is what Peter said. The end of the world is coming soon. So we have to prepare. We have to get this body right. We have to get this house right. Praise God. He said, because the end is coming. Yes, the world will either come to the end or our last thing going to end. One other two. Our lifespan going to end. And we have to be done with sin. He said for the wages of sin is what? Death. There's a payment for it. It's a payment. You're going to be paid for what you do. You're going to be paid for what sin you do. Paid. Sin pays. Sin pays. Righteousness rewards. Reward. But sin pays. Mm -hmm. Righteousness. We, we have eternal rewards. Eternal rewards. For our righteousness. For, for our righteousness. For the righteousness of the Lord Jesus Hallelujah. Christ. Right. Yes, right. Amen. Therefore, be earnest and disciplined in your prayers. Earnest and discipline. earnest and disciplined in our prayers. Praise God. Uh -huh. Some our prayers don't mean nothing. Some our prayers don't go nowhere because we are not disciplined. Praise God. We're not finished with the things that we need to be finished with. We still in entanglement with things of the world. Praise God. And so them prayers can never go nowhere. Them prayers can never even leave the ceiling. They can never get through the ceiling of your home. Praise God. Hallelujah. If God will, he'll send a prayer. If God said, you know what? He said, I will show mercy on whoever I will. Mm -hmm. God can show mercy on whoever will. He said he'll show compassion on whoever he please. Mm -hmm. He'll do that. He said, but the sinner, when the sinner come to God, <coughs> he said he got to repent. He said he got to repent. He got to repent. And mm -hmm. ask the Lord Jesus to come in his heart and be a personal savior. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Let not sin have dominion in your life. Praise God. For sin shall have, for sin shall not have dominion. Romans 6 14. For sin shall have sin shall not have dominion over you. For sin shall not have power over you. Mm -hmm. 
For you're not under law, but under grace. Mm -hmm. Notice he says, sin should not have power over you. If God, if Paul telling me sin shouldn't have power over me, that means I have power over sin. Yes. I have power over sin. I have dominion over sin. If God gave me dominion over the land, over the sea, over all the creeping things, God gave me power over everything in this earth. God gave me power over spirits. He gave us power over spirits, praise God. Because this is the issue. We have a problem with spirits, not humans. We have a problem with spirits. Mm. Demonic forces. Mm -hmm. Oh, hallelujah. For sin shall not have dominion over you. Mm -hmm. You need to be finished with sin. Finished with it. Finished. It shouldn't have power over you. Mm. At all. You're not under law, but under grace. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. 1 John 2, 15. He said, love not the world. Love not the world. Neither the things that's in the world, praise God. Mm -hmm. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. This, what John said. Love not the world. Mm -hmm. If any man love the world. The love of the Father is not in him. If you love the world, the love of the Father is not in you. Couldn't nobody tell me I ain't love God when I was a sinner? I would never say I ain't love God. Mm -hmm. Because I thought I respected God. Mm -hmm. But all actuality, I didn't love God. Mm -hmm. I love the things of the world. Mm -hmm. That's what I love. I love the world, praise God. And I didn't try to get God at a certain point in my life. I didn't try to get God. I didn't want to have nothing to do with him. Because you was in a relationship already. Right. So if you're already in a relationship, you don't want to cheat on the world. Right. But we cheat on God. We cheat on God. With the world. With the world. That's what we do. I wasn't finished. You weren't finished with him. I didn't even acknowledge him. That's why the Bible say either you're going to be cold or hot. Because if you lukewarm, he said, I'm going to spit you out my mouth. Mm. So either you you coming with God all the way, you're going to divorce the world right. and divorce the things that are in the world. In the world. Right? Right. Or stay over there. Stay over there. The Bible says it's better for you to have no, not known Praise the God. way of righteousness Hallelujah. than to know the way of righteousness. Thank you, Jesus. And then turn back to it again. Thank you, Lord. Pa did, didn't Peter say we was done, done with the things that we used to do? We done. He said the ungodly things that we used to do with, with the unbelievers. With the unbelievers. He said we done with that. We done with it. So I finished with that. We finished with that. I let that go. Let it go. When I decided that I was going to be a Christ-like. We need to let it go. I decided Christ-like, Christian, Christ-like. Thank you, I Jesus. decided I am going to have my relationship Mm. With the Father. I'm going to mm. have my relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm. You see, the, the Lord Jesus, he don't like the things of the world. He don't like it. So He's... because I'm in love with him, mm. I got to show him mm. that I love him mm. by not cheating on him with the world. Mm. I don't want to be a cheater. Mm. I don't want to be an adulterer. Because that's, that's what, what they called us. Right. Adulterer. He said, you adulterer. Mm -hmm. You adulteresses. That's what James said. Mm -hmm. So they're, 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 that means that right. um, you adulterers. James 4.4. 4, yeah. And adulterers. Know ye what? Not. Uh-huh. That. The friendship of the world. Uh-huh. Is enmity with God. Uh-huh. Whosoever therefore would be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. So if, if I don't want to be God's enemy. Praise so God. I cut. Listen, I came all the way out. All the way out. All the way now out. Now li listen to what that new friend, Apostle James, is a new friend. That's our and friend. And listen what he just told me. What he said. What he just told us. Uh huh. Ye adulterers and adulterers, He's know ye not uh -huh. that the friendship of the world is enmity with God. This our new friend. Uh huh. Now I, 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 I truly friend, a so real a friend. They tell us the truth. So he a true friend. He a true friend. James is a true <coughs> he friend. He true friend. He telling us what he experienced mm. in the world. He telling us what Jesus taught him, praise God. He telling us the truth. If you got a friend, if they 
I'm not taking. That's not a friend. They don't love you. They don't love you. If they won't tell, tell me, me the truth, truth. I don't care how you truth. think I might feel. Right. Tell me. But the truth. tell me the truth. Yeah. Because the truth is what set people free. Yeah. The truth will, will open our eyes. The truth will open our ears that we can hear. Open our eyes that we can see. The truth, praise God, will pierce the darkness out of our heart. The truth do that. Mm. He said, if you will be a friend of the world, is the enemy. Now, that, that sounds like, that sound like, oh, it's been too hard. Yeah. He said, if you're a friend of the world, you're an enemy with God. My God. Don't nobody want to hear that? No. But Peter, Apostle Peter, Apostle James, loved me enough. He loved us enough. To tell me the truth. Bo, if you continue to live in the world, you are an enemy to God. And you're an adulterer. You're an adulterer. You cheat on your lover. You cheat on God. You cheat on him. You don't care about him, praise yeah, God. You Envy. Care. You know why? Why? Because you're the idol. you the idol. You do what you want to do. You do what you want you to do. You serve yourself. <coughs> Hallelujah. You worship yourself. You worship yourself. And anything yourself. you put before God is an idol. What? Now, how come John and Peter basically say the same thing? And, he said, any man love the world. Uh -huh. The love of the Father is not him. So John now, Jane, said it. Jane, John said it. John love said, not the world. Uh -huh. Neither the things that's in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. So, now, look what James said. So, James said. Uh -huh. Peter said it. Peter said it. John said it. John said it. Okay. James said it. Uh -huh. Peter said it. Look at that. They love us. Yeah. He said, any man love the world, mm -hmm. the love of the Father is not him. And James said, if you love the world, you're an enemy to God. You're not a friend. No. You're not a friend. You ain't my friend. You oh, don't love me. You don't love enough me. Enough to tell me. The truth. To come out of the world. To come out of it. You don't love me. Praise God. Hallelujah. You keep me in that complacent state. Yes. You keep me in that state. You keep like, me it's in all the right. state of compromise. A compromise. Yeah. Praise God. If you compromise with the world, I can tell you right now, you have no power in the realm of the spirit. No power at all. If you compromise with the world, you have no power in the realm of the spirit. You have no power. You have no authority in that realm if you compromise with the world. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Because if you're an enemy of God, yeah. where your power comes you from? You have no power. If you're his enemy. That's right. You're, that's if right. you're his enemy, enemy, how are you going to use his power to come against a demon of lust right. when, that, when, when that's your portion? That's your portion. You can't. Can you come against the spirit of love? You can't. When it's in you. Praise God. The reason why we still doing it is because we're, we're not, not finished. finished with it. The reason why you're still doing something, the same thing, because you are not finished with you it. Ain't, we're not finished with it. We're not finished with it. Praise mm -hmm. God. Hallelujah. My wife, she wasn't finished with the things that she did. Uh, I wasn't finished. Praise God. She wasn't finished with the, the music. She wasn't finished with her friends. She wasn't finished with that stuff. Praise God. But That's when, why she kept doing. But when I when I when I took a a, a, a stand, a stance, and I had a a, a different standard. Mm. Okay, my them friends were gone. Praise God. And how you got rid of that? I don't even that? know where they at. How you got rid of that? I don't even know you, where you they at. You began to do it, develop a relationship. Relationship with God. How you got rid of it? And I lo left the relationship Praise I had God. with the world. That had such a strong hold on it me. It had a lock on me. Yeah, but how you got rid You got rid of that. I got, I, I, you know what I did? What? I divorced it. Mm. And I finished with it. Mm, you divorced I it. I said, I'm finished with you. Praise God. August the 13th, mm. 1998, mm. I said, Mm. Today, Lord. Today, Lord. I choose life. You choose life. So when I did that, all them years ago, mm. the years before that, mm. one foot in the world, one foot in the church, one foot in the world, one foot in the church, one foot in the world, one foot in the church. <laughs> Mm. That was my life. That was your life. Because I was married to the world. Mm. I had the world. I was married. I had their ring on my finger. Mm. They ring on your finger. I had their ring on my finger. Mm. I was married to them. Oh Lord Jesus. That, that they were my baby. So that what you actually That was my baby. That's the truth. We all had a ring on yeah, our that, finger. They was my baby. Because we were married to the world. I was married to the world. Praise God. I was, I was married you to the was world. You was married to the world. Praise God. We weren't finished with the we world. We weren't finished with the world. See? But when you got saved, mm. when you saw the Lord high on that scaffold, yeah. When the Lord called you. Call me. See, he called you. Yes. When, uh, one night at work. One the night Lord at work. The Lord called you. And yes. 
your life was transformed. Transformed. You, 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 that you very just, life. You, you, your life was I ain't want to have nothing to do with the world. You didn't no want to have nothing to do with the world no more. Praise God. See, something transformed on the inside of you that night. Yes. See? He's, yes, I, I, I never experienced, I never forget that You'll experience. You'll never forget I that. I didn't even know God talked to people. What'd he say? He said, I am the Lord that God. This yeah. is what he said. What'd I he am say? the Lord that God. Uh -huh. I am he that lived and was dead. Uh -huh. Be watchful and sober, for I am watching over you. Go and tell the people about the love of Jesus. Go and tell the people about the love of Jesus. So I got a little afraid, frightened, mm -hmm. because I was up on a, like a scaffold. Mm -hmm. And so I climbed down and got on the ground. Because I was so high in the realm of the spirit. I was so high in the realm. I was in such light. You saw that light. I couldn't even. I, I was in such light, man. Mm -hmm. Just nothing but light. Mm -hmm. And I got a little free, frightened. I got down off that scalpel and got on the ground and started walking. You got on the ground and started yeah. walking. And I heard, in the realm of the spirit. The, go ahead. The Lord pulled you up into the realm of the spirit and the Lord called you. <laughs> Yes. See, the Lord called you and he put his oil on your head. Yes. He anointed you. When he called you that night, mm. the oil came on your head that night. Praise God. The priesthood came that night. Yes. In the realm of the spirit. I didn't know that's nothing. when the priesthood came. When the oil comes, when the that's oil. when the priesthood comes. When the priesthood comes, that's mm. when the authority comes. That's come. when the authority comes. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. So we can't compromise. Can't compromise. I am the Lord that Jesus. God. Jesus. So I got down from there. Started walking on the ground. Mm -hmm. He said, "I am the Lord that God. I'm the Lord that God." He said it again. Yes, oh. I'm the Lord that God. I'm the Lord that God. I, mm -hmm. I am He that lived that was dead. Be watchful and sober, for I am watching over you. Go and tell the people about the love of Jesus, and that's what we're doing today. We're telling you about the love of Jesus. We're telling you about the love of Jesus. He, he loved me enough to pull me out of the world. And I'm loving you enough to tell you, praise God, you're an enemy with God if you stay continually walking according, walking according to the world. You're an enemy. Praise God. You love him enough. You love him enough. I love him. I was an enemy to God. But you love, you love people enough to tell them about the love of Jesus. Praise God. And this is what love is. Right. Love is saying, listen, Jada, don't go that way. Right. Jada, don't, 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 don't go that way. <laughs> right. All of the disciples telling us, don't do that. Don't do that. Jesus said, if you do this, this is what's going to happen to you. What's gonna so happen. basically he said, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. We at the point now. I don't care what you say about me. We don't care. I, I'm suffering for Christ. We suffering for Christ. I don't care. I can take the. I can take the hit. We gonna take the. I hits. can take the hit in the head because I got a helmet. Pop. I got a helmet. Praise God of salvation. I got a helmet. You can hit me in the head. I got a helmet to block that stuff. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. He said, for all that is in the world, praise God. What is it? The lust of the flesh. Uh-huh. The desires. The desires of the flesh. Uh-huh. The lust of the eyes. The desires of what you see. And the, and the pride of life. You thank you so much. Is not of the Father, but is of the world. You can't tell me nothing. These are three things that you have to look out for. Lust of the flesh. Lust of the eyes. Proud of life. These are three things you have to look for, praise God. In Genesis, praise God. Those are three things that enemy attack. Adam and Eve went. The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, the pride of life. And then in Matthew 4, praise God, he attacked Jesus with the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, praise God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. He attacked them with the same thing. Ain't nothing changed. Ain't nothing changed. He's still attacking them with lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, pride of life. These are three things that will pull you down, praise God. Why should he change? Hallelujah. It still worked. It still worked. It didn't work on Jesus. It didn't work on him. It didn't work on Jesus. Praise God. It, it worked, worked on, on Adam me. and Eve. It worked on it me. It worked on me. Praise God. He's still using the same thing. He's still dealing from up under the deck of the cars. He's still dealing the same thing. He's hand. still dealing that same thing. He's hand. still dealing the same Lust of the flesh. Lust of the eyes. Pride of life. He's still dealing, shuffling that thing around. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We need to get rid of praise God. Get rid of praise. Some people got envy. You need to get you need to be finished with envy. Yes. You need to be done away with envy. Mm 